Samuel. that we so can adapt to different styles. So uh, Newcastle have a typical style. We can adapt, uh, we can find a way to win. No, he was really happy, <laughs> really happy um, for the club um, as, as an owner. Um, so I yeah, was uh, uh, really want to be part of it. Uh, you feel that when he was in the dressing room, um, very good he was here. Um, had to show uh, his um, intentions. Uh, Sky? Yeah, it's it's true. It's, and even if you take that into account, it's a massive performance if we can deliver this, and it, that tells you that we are fit, uh, physical fit, menti mentally fit, and they had energy. Um, so I think it was a great performance in that perspective today for us. Uh, we had we have we had a we have a history huh, together had the two uh, Litya and Anthony in Amsterdam and we did some dancing huh, and I hope we can do it even more in the future but therefore we have to invest therefore we have to sacrifice and to suffer every day um, to win trophies. Of course, um, we we not only hoping, but to know uh, that it's worth to invest, to know that it's worth to suffer and to sacrifice, and to know that you have to give every day your best to celebrate. And it's all about that. It's about glory and honor. And if you want to to prove something, if you want to win something, you have to do it. And otherwise, you don't get it because no one is, come, uh, is to bring you something in top football. Laurie. Do you think it's important to win silverware to get buy-in with your methods as well? Because you have been quite harvesting the players, but I feel like silverware shows your products at the end of it. It, it, it does. <laughs> it, it shows something, silverware, eh, that you are on a good pathway, you are in a good direction. Eh? It's... Uh, it's um, one cup and it's February but it shows we are in the right direction and so this has to be the inspiration this has to be the motivation uh, to to keep going to continue on this pathway and to improve uh, to not be, be be happy okay happy yeah for 24 hours but not be satisfied because satisfaction that leads to laziness and when you were caught lazy uh, you don't win any more big games and you can't win trophies. Oh, I, I don't know. I'm not involved in that process. Uh, thank you for the question. But um, uh, but I think the way uh, that he's here shows uh, that I, you feel that he's committed and about the process, what he wants, that's uh, not about, uh, not for me. Uh, I have to perform this team, this dressing room, to lead it. And uh, others in the club are involved with decisions about uh, ownership, etc. Miguel. Uh, hi, Eric. Um, from your experience also at Ajax, what effect does the focus you have on the dressing room change the mentality? And also, are you letting the players celebrate more? Or yeah, they, uh, you have to celebrate. <laughs> These moments you have to celebrate. Uh, because it's not bu uh, business as usual. And it's not a common day. And we uh, we won a trophy, and a, tr a trophy. What? And this trophy means something. That's the feeling I get here in the UK. And so um, we have won something. We have to celebrate that. But from uh, after that point, uh, you have to keep going because Wednesday is another game, and it's a big game. 
And uh, in our perspective, every game is a big game. And you can't win when you're not 100%. So we have to do everything to win this game. Uh, but this cup can be the inspiration to give even more and to be even more um, collective, uh, to be even more in togetherness and to put even more effort in uh, to, to be better because don't be satisfied. Tell it right. It's that's an opportunity. It's possible, eh? but you have to believe in it, and it can be your inspiration. But it's only coming when you do the right things. If you work very hard, eh? if you stick together, then it's then things are possible. Eh? But you have to go from game to game, and you can't uh, look far ahead eh? and dream because that uh, will distract you. Eh? It, uh, the focus has to be on the job. 100% focus is necessary to get the right results. Simon. Is, does today justify your decision to come to Manchester United? When you came, Manchester United were a bit of a mess at the end of last season. I don't think many people can get their head around how quickly and how well you turned the situation around. Was it a risk and was this justified? Ah, maybe it was a risk, but look, I'm a little bit stubborn. And uh, I just l love United. Uh, uh, when I see, uh, I see already our shirts, when I see the boundary with the fans, when I see Old Trafford, when I see the legacy, um, like Sir Alex uh, left, and so many plays, big plays, uh, were developed in the United teams and who makes a big impression. And we want to do the same. This team wants to make its own history, its own legacy. Uh, and... Um, that's, yeah, uh, when this opportunity came, I thought, yeah, this is the right club for me. I want to be part of it. James. Hi, how does this trophy compare to the trophy you won in the IF Division? Uh, every, every cup is big. And um, the meaning I have seen the last couple of, of months and weeks um, in... in in England and in our uh, in Manchester United in our club in our in our staff with our players how they experience the battles in this cup so it's it's a big win this and so we are really happy tonight and uh, yeah it has to be once again it has to be the inspiration and it will help because it will bring even more confidence and so long as long as we don't go over the top uh, in the confidence, if we keep doing the right things, the right stuff, the st uh, do cannoness, uh, keep going and working on the bound with defence, the and then yeah, we can win even more. Uh, last two, Paul and James. Hi, Eric. Um, you mentioned Sir Alex uh, a few minutes ago. Um, how beneficial is it for you to have dinner with him this week ahead of such uh, a big win? Did you, did you get a chance to speak to him after the match? Ah, that is all that. Um, the, the dinner that shows uh, um, that we are good uh, and that shows that he's really involved in, the, in this club, that shows that he's really committed uh, in this club and we all can learn a lot from him. You don't have to talk with him, uh, that you can learn a lot from him, uh, what he did for Manchester United. That, that's, that's huge, I think, inspiration for all, all of us. Uh, but of course, it's, it's an honour to, uh, uh, to share my thoughts to um, to talk about football, uh, to talk about how you lead dressing rooms and teams and strategies, etc. So uh, it's very good, and yeah, uh, it's very good that he wants to share that uh, with me, with me, but not only with me, but also he wants to to give that to Manchester United, and we are very grateful for it. Did you speak to him after the match? Today? Yes, he was there, and hey, and he's a happy man tonight. Last question, James. Uh, Eric, um, last minute in the round around uh, Stanley and Tottenham again. Just how important and influential has it been on the centre half pairing in a season like that? As always, yeah. They, um, 
before the game, they asked me about so the influence of uh, Casimiro and, and Rafa Ferran, and yeah, they know how to win trophies. Eh? If I uh, refer to all uh, the Champions League winnings, they did. But I think uh, Martinez, yeah, I had him in Ajax and I won trophies with him. <laughs> Same with Anthony. And so you need a, a personality, you need a t typical character, a, um, a t so typical type uh, in your squad to win in the end. And Martinez is definitely one of them. Eh? You can count on him, you can rely on him. And, um, and he showed it today again, eh? because that uh, boundary together with, uh, with Rafa Varane is really strong. Um, so, yeah, it's, um, as a manager, you are, uh, you are on the sideline and you are composed. You can uh, have confidence. Uh, they sort it out. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> I can leave him uh, because next cup, uh, this one is it. <laughs>